All right, y'all, so have you seen this story out of Georgia? Uh, there's this white man in his business. Uh, he's teaching athletes speed and agility drills. 96% of his clients are African-American. Hmm. I wonder what they would say about these videos uh, where he's been busted making all sorts of racial comments. Listen. Coming up here, and just got a conference with the legislature real estate thing and all in uh, downtown Atlanta, staying here at the uh, Omni Hotel, everybody seeing in. Ain't seen a white person in sight. Homeless ones on the street. Every restaurant looking in here is black. Every car beside them is black. But they can have Atlanta. It used to be a fun place to come to up here. They can have this place right here. And stuff. There ain't no way. There ain't no way. Just need to, there, there, there's your, yeah, well, it, was a, it was just a sign up there. It had Obama and all them on there. And stuff, man. So, yeah, that's all that's up here. That's all that's up here, man. And stuff is just crap. Yeah. Yeah, you and Boyf need to come up here and go hunting. Yeah. And stuff, man. Ain't nothing here, dog. Ain't nothing but blacks up here. That's all it is. Atlanta's been gone down, man. Just gone. Bro, look at this nigga trying to pull out in front of me right here. Look at this nigga trying to pull out in front of me right here. Hey, did you see did you see that that tree right there? Yeah. Did you see that tree right there? Ro will hang you from that tree. Yeah. Look what you got me. $129. Look at that. Nice. Look at this nice jacket. Laid out here on the bed for me. Nice. Columbia. Yeah. Columbia. Yeah. yeah. So, got the Glock by the bed. Yeah, let me go. Room service. Y'all need y'all niggas to bring me some chicken wings, two hoes, a red bone and a white girl. Yeah, I want the white girl. Uh, Rogue gonna try the, the red bone. No. No, Borf ain't coming. Yeah, he was here and everything. He make him leave. He he make the red bone leave. Yeah, he no, he don't do that. Everything. So I tried that one time at the house. Yeah, just roll. Yeah, so he, he 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 probably do it. Then he probably going throw out the we on the fourteenth floor. He probably throw out the window. We done with her. Yeah, cheap rate. Atlanta, Atlanta, nigger town. Mm. This is the same Mark Taylor, y'all, and uh, it's been confirmed as he is the owner of Edge Speed Edge Sports, uh, former defensive back at the University of Georgia. Uh, in fact, uh, this is his Twitter page right here, y'all. Uh, go to my iPad. You see it right here. And uh, boom, his photo right here uh, is uh, one of the uh, players that's in NFL. Uh, I, I hope he loses every single client and all his business, uh, Randy? Everything. I want him to lose everything. Uh, he is just, an, it just openly racist. And what concerns me is how he has impacted really all the black children and men with whom he's worked. And I know we know he's going to we're going to get a statement of how much he loves black people and how many of them that he's worked. But you can't tell me when you see someone with this much hatred that little things that he would say, little things that would affect these yep. young people. This is no way. Uh, Larry, he's been voted the Georgia high school coach of the year for track six years in a row uh, and makes a lot of money from black folk. <laughs> Sure does, but you know what? With these videos, we see you now. So I hope all the uh, coaches in the uh, college football and you know college players and pro players that work with them will put out statements and hurt the bottom line. So I'm waiting for Nick Saban and some of these other folk, uh, you know, coaches, you know, to come out and say, hey, you know, we we dissociate with this guy, et cetera. But I won't hold my breath when it comes to waiting for that. But we need to hurt him, what it hurt, hurt him where it hurts. Mustafa, he hasn't posted on Facebook since uh, January 30th. Haven't seen uh, any other comment uh, from him. But, oh, trust me, I'm quite sure his phone and email is blowing up.
Oh, yeah, they go, folks going to get them. But, you know, as we said earlier, stop letting people pimp you. Stop giving them your money. Stop giving them your time. Stop giving them your image to make more money off of you. So, you know, once you know who somebody is and then you still allow these types of things to go on, that just means you want to be pimped. So to all the black coaches in Georgia, um, that's a new business you can probably be starting. If you have one, uh, you probably will be getting some new clients real soon. Uh, now that these videos are going out about uh, Mark Taylor. Can't wait to hear him uh, give us a groveling apology. All right, folks, back to that Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. When you talk about blackness and what happens in black culture, we're about covering these things that matter to us, uh, speaking to our issues and concerns. This is a genuine people-powered movement. There's a lot of stuff that we're not getting. You get it, and you spread the word. We wish to plead our own cause to long have others spoken for us. We cannot tell our own story if we can't pay for it. This is about uh, covering us. Invest in Black-owned media. Your dollars matter. We don't have to keep asking them to cover our stuff. So please support us in what we do, folks. We want to hit 2,000 people, $50 this month, raise $100,000. We're behind 100000 so we want to hit that. Y'all money makes this possible. Checks and money orders go to PO Box 57196, Washington, D.C., 20037-0196. The cash app is dollar sign RM Unfiltered. PayPal is R Martin Unfiltered. Venmo is RM Unfiltered. Zelle is rolling at rollingsmartin.com.